The risk factors for lower energy availability or low energy availability are the following. Lots of things can come into play. So look at that little spectrum diagram again and think of optimal eating to disordered eating or eating disorders. Things like restriction of different types of dietary intake, like I said, even total caloric intake. For I would say, if you're a female athlete and you're limiting your calories and working on watching calories to try to lose weight, you have to be very purposive about that. We should probably get you hooked up with a dietitian to do that. Exercise for prolonged periods of time. Um, I know that some of my female athletes will say, you know what, I worked out today, but I still, I, I did too much, I ate too much or whatever, and I'm gonna exercise for another two hours when I'm done with my studying. That's a little bit of a energy availability drain, so to speak. Vegetarians and vegans, again, not a bad choice. It's a wonderful choice if that's what you choose. It's not right, it's not wrong, but I'll tell you what, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you've gotta work really hard to get things that female athletes are really very typically low in, like iron, and potentially if you're a vegan, calcium. I think it's very, very important. Uh, sometimes people limit the types of foods that they eat. They don't drink milk because it makes them phlegmy, or they don't eat meat because it's not in their chosen pattern. I think it's very important to consider those as a risk factor for low energy availability. And last but not least, an early start, get this, of sports-specific training. So people who start gymnastics, dance, soccer, you name it, at a very young age, have a risk for a low energy availability quotient because of the fact that they're very, very in tune with a single sport and participating for a long period of time. And last but not least, a sudden increase in training volume. And you might not even notice it. You might say, gosh, at this point, we're at this point in our season, we're trying to peak by X number of weeks or this meet or whatever the case might be, and you increase your training dramatically, that can be something that can be a, a sort of a new onset for um, lower energy availability or lowered or diminished energy availability in a female athlete.